Hey everybody, Happy Gamer here, and now I'm dealing with Legion of the Damned Codex. This is a fascinating because the Legion of the Dam has only one unit. And what's interesting about that is that you can still make Legion of the Damned your uh, a standalone army. A standalone army of one unit. That's pretty fascinating. Uh, I, I guess they're supposed to be taken as allies, but it is very possible, according to the codex here, for you to have a standalone army of Legion of the Damned where all you will have is um, basically their version of the tactical troop choice called a Legion of the Damned squad. Now, the Legion of the Damned, if taken as your primary unit, you must then upgrade the Legion of the Dam Squad with a veteran sergeant. That veteran sergeant then becomes your warlord. Now, they then have their special warlord traits, which I will go into now. First, Inferno of Vengeance. Bum, bum, bum. So palpable is the vengeful fury that drives these damned legionnaires that the air about them ignites at their touch. That means that the warlord and his unit have Soul Blaze special rule. Aura of Fear. Facing a host of Adeptus Astartes is intimidating enough, but when such a force personifies the very image of fire and death, terror becomes absolute. Okay. When taking fear tests, enemy units in base contact with the Warlord's unit suffer a cumulative negative one penalty to their leadership value for each friendly legion of the damned squad on the battlefield past the first. Now, I, I think that's pretty fun. I mean, you could... you, you <laughs> Wow. But we're going to go into that later in a tactics video. Uh, ethereal bolts. The ammunition fired by these damned legionnaires can pass through even the densest armor plating to wreak havoc on vehicles fragile mechanisms inside yes i'm being weird but i really like this one because uh well you'll see the warlord and his unit have the armor bane special rule when firing any of the following weapons bolt pistol bolt gun storm bolter heavy bolter or any combi weapon that has uh that can be fired as a bolt gun uh, yeah, it's fun. Uh, spectral Bulwark. These legionnaires are utterly implacable. Their phantasmal forms lending them to a resilience beyond the kin of normal men. Oh, I'm sorry, mortal men. Even if they're not normal. The warlord and his unit have a feel no pain, five plus, special rule which is pretty awesome when you think they also have their uh, invulnerable save and a three plus normal save so uh you throw that all together they're 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 gonna be pretty tough to kill okay next next never too late never too early the Legion of the Damned are famed above all else for their uncanny ability to appear at the right place and at the right time to change the course of a battle. Boom! Instead of making a reserve roll, the Warlord and his unit at the start of turn two, the controlling player can choose whether or not he wishes or she wishes them to arrive that turn. If he decides to keep them in reserve, he can also choose whether or not he or she wishes them to arrive at the start 
of turn three. However, if they have not done so already, the warlord and his unit automatically arrives at the start of turn four. Now, it doesn't specifically say it, but I have a feeling it means you don't roll every turn. So it means... No, no, yeah, yeah, sorry. Basically, it sounds like ongo it's a long, long way of saying that they automatically go into ongoing reserve, except that you don't have to take them onto the table. Uh, they just automatically come in, and any turn you want up to turn four where they will come in whether you like it or not, which is kind of cool. Um, if only they had outflank and deep strike, that would actually be very useful. But right now, it just means they're going to be walking onto their table edge any turn you want. Last, retribution made manifest. None can stand against these damned legionnaires, for they are the embodiment of the Emperor's vengeance. The Warlord and his unit have the preferred enemy special rule. That's as simple as that one gets. Which is not bad. Um, so there you go. These are the Warlord traits for the Legion of the Damned. Next, the, War the Legion of the Damned squad. See you then, baby! Ha!